Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stocks. Well, should I thought I would do a review of GPS this afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon. And really because I wanted to look at the chart in this because I thought it was so unusual what happened. I wanted to trade this as a day trade on Friday morning as a short when I looked at the earnings report Thursday afternoon. But at that time, I rated it as a gap down. And when the market opened then in the morning, it wasn't gapping down anymore. So then I couldn't short it. And then not only did it not gap down, it actually gapped up. That is very unusual, I must say. I'm, I'm trying to think of when I really saw something flip. What time did it actually flip here? Let me just look. It was, it was, it was unusual. It was right before the open. This is the pre-market one minute. So, you know, at the night before Thursday night, I rated the gap and looked to short it to see if it met my criteria for a golden gap and it did. So here's all the stuff that was happening at night. This is Thursday night. In the morning, early, even around 8, 8.30, it was still gapping down. So all of this here, all of this here, and that's, it was right around 9.18. So 12, yeah, this, is, this was really weird. 12 minutes before the open, then it wasn't even gapping down anymore, and not only that, then it was gapping up. And then, and then it opened. So that, this was very unusual. So of course, one of the things that is important with what I do is preparation. So I prepare myself ahead of time knowing what stock I want to trade, rating the gap for my 26 point rating system, making sure it rates 20 points or more, whether it's a bullish gap or a bearish gap, but I know exactly what I want to do with it and the numbers and the targets and everything before, before the open. Very rare is it that something completely 100% flips several minutes before the open. Now, sometimes something will flip in the actual earnings of the live earnings, meaning sometimes something will actually gap up and then gap down as the earnings are being announced, like all within the post-market or the pre-market, but then it'll hold wherever, wherever it ends up sticking, whether it's down or up of the gap. Now, whether or not it's playable or meets my criteria of the 26 point rating system, I don't, I don't know until I rate it, but I'm just saying usually it will hold the gap even if it flips, because the flip usually happens during the earnings when it's actually being reported. But that's not what happened here, and that's what was so weird about this, because the earnings reported at the night, here's 4 o'clock, 4.15, and then, and then it held in the gap down all morning until, until 12 minutes before the open. That was just weird. So I didn't do anything with GPS then. <clears throat> and I was, I was rather disappointed, actually, because I was so excited about actually doing this but then obviously I couldn't I can't short a gap up I didn't even look to go long this because what happened was so weird and in my head I was thinking it was gapping down and going to short and then like I said 12 minutes before the open it flipped and and there's no way I would have gone on this anyways because I wasn't even prepared to do anything with this let alone that I would have had to quickly rate it as a long and I was just so shocked of the flip in it so really strange move with GPS on Friday. And here's the overall chart with this. So we'll see what it does, but this is not really a continuation gap here that you could look to go short on Monday because it, it's not a continuation of a follow through lower. It ended up gapping up. <laughs> so there's nothing to do with this one. Kind of a bummer, actually. And, and I wouldn't do anything with this. The way that it acted was not right on Friday. I wouldn't go long the stock for sure and you can't short it right now in here either so there's nothing to do with it at all but I thought it was interesting to review that because you always see something you never saw before I think in all the years I'm trading now it's I still see things I've never seen before and that's the market and that's the amazing fun exciting thing about doing this when you're trading every day and you're part of the market every day you'll you'll always see something you never saw before forever and ever and ever and and this was something that I never saw before so it's very interesting and, and I didn't do anything with it, and that's fine, because it wasn't a short. But again, I wouldn't have bought it. So this is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. If anyone has any questions, and if you're interested in more information about the next Golden Gap course, it's December 5th and 6th. 
email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.